Hey guys, it's Carissa, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Inky Fairy Designs. Today is Mixed Media Monday, and I know this video is up a little bit late, but thank you guys for waiting on me, and I did get some mixed media done today, and I want to share it with you. So I am working in my Dina Wakely Media Journal, and I knew for this, um, for today's video, I wanted to uh, do the Show Us Your Media challenge uh, which is going on right now you have until March 14th to go ahead and create something and submit it the theme this month is it is never too late to be who you might have been I always love the prompts that Dina chooses and you know the the kind of inspiration that she leaves you very open-ended to start off and create something in your journals to think about and I love that and so you can take a look at that on the Ranger Inc. blog and also take a look at uh, what she's created for the challenge. I also knew that I wanted to work on the craft cardstock that's in this journal. It is not something that I gravitate to. It's not something that I love, like the one of the surfaces that I love. I really love the watercolor paper and I really love like the canvasy paper, but this one always gives me just like a block mentally. And so I wanted to push through that. And one way to push through that was to pick out colors that I don't even reach for. I mean, if I'm going to be out of my comfort zone as it is, I might as well make it you know, completely out of my comfort zone and see what happens. So I end up pulling out ruby, magenta, and lemon for my colors today. And I got this combination from the Dina Wakely Media Tribe Facebook group. There was an awesome thread there talking about different color combinations with Dina's paints. She chimed in and gave a couple uh, suggestions on what colors to use with Ruby. And since I don't normally create with red, it's not a color um, that I generally use. I thought now would be a good time. And since I had, you know, a suggestion on what colors to use with it, it was perfect. Um, so I really like how that comes together. Uh, I tend to use cool color palettes, um, like the teals and the purples and the blues. Um, yeah, so <laughs> working on the craft paper is definitely a challenge. One main reason being that I tend to fill up a page with color. So when I'm doing my, working in my art journals, I just fill up that whole page with um, paint and I don't leave a lot of white space and on the craft paper I wanted to try really hard to leave the craft paper showing through because that's what I love when I see art on these pages is that the colors seem to really pop on that background so I tried really hard to leave the edges plain without any uh, paint on it so you could see that craft and then I did want to add a little bit of texture so I pulled out a stencil and the Dilutions Shimmer Spray. I think it's in bubblegum. It's the pink color just to kind of tie in with the magenta. And then I did spray on randomly on my page and tried to lift some of that paint up with a paper towel. I thought some areas were still a little bit wet and I did get some fun texture doing that, but it wasn't the it wasn't as wet as I thought it would be. So then I pulled out the text and scribbles stamp set and I love this one this stamp in particular of that it's just like a bunch of paint markings and it really inspired me to add additional paint markings on to my background so I pulled out turquoise and I just had to I love turquoise it's one of my favorite colors and it's a it's a cool color and it was the perfect color to add into this page because it is a contrasting color and it just really popped against that warm color palette that I had already laid down. And so that's another thing that you can do when you're creating new journals is if you have a really warm or really cool color palette, try to think about what contrasting color you can add to just kind of pop. It really just became the icing on the cake for this page is adding this turquoise. I love the way that it looks. And um, as soon as I started adding these little marks on my page, I started feeling like, okay, this page is definitely coming together because up until that point, I really wasn't sure where it was going. And other than kind of keeping in mind what the challenge was and thinking about those prompts in my head, yeah, I really didn't have a plan for this page. 
So I had just recently gotten this Posca or Posca paint marker. Um, I've been looking for a great white marker pen to use on my journals and this um, was recommended and I picked it up recently and this is the first time that I'm using it and I actually really, really like it on my page. Um, it works great over paint and it's really bright white. I like that when I go over some of the highly textured spots, it kind of splatters and adds just that much more interest onto my background. So I'll definitely be using that more. And um, although I don't know if I can say I love it yet, because I've only used it this one time, it is leaning towards that way. So I decided to do a little bit of journaling on my page. I think that's the intention behind the Show Us Your Media journal or the challenge um, is to put more of yourself into your journal pages. And these prompts are really meant to kind of draw that out. And um, this one uh, talking about, you know, who it's not too late to be who you want to be. And, you know, what does that mean to you? Are you who you want to be? And for me, um, kind of reviving this uh, YouTube channel is something that um, was on my mind as something that I wanted to do this year. You know, can I produce content that you guys like? Um, and so that was something that I wrote down. I wanted to be fearless. I want to take more chances in life and I want to try more things and I want to become passionate, a passionate artist. I want to be an artist. So these are all things that um, I wrote down and I wrote them down sloppily and I didn't really want to be able to read them or you know I'm telling you kind of what my thought is behind my journaling so it doesn't really matter but you know um, I just covered them up with some circles and I had four journaling spots and I don't like I didn't like it it was too even so I added a fifth one down there on the bottom because I just love uneven things and my husband actually <laughs> jokes that we had a fifth child because um, you know I just like odd numbers and the funny thing is that he loves even numbers so um, yeah I don't know <laughs> what that means but um, yeah so we have five kids so I'm pretty happy anyway so I've got five circles there I added some more of that turquoise on there because I really liked how it popped and, um, and then I thought I wanted to add the other colors, um, kind of to create maybe some shadows on the right side of the circles. So I brought in that ruby back in and I didn't like the way that looked. So I added some magenta on top of that. And I really didn't like how that looked. And I thought, well, maybe if I add some of the lemon back on, because I kind of lost some of that, maybe that'll be it really didn't like the way that it was turning out either. So this is why I always have baby wipes on hand when I'm art journaling is I can just wipe it off. And usually like you are working on a jet sewed surface and it wipes up much easier. But because I had all those paint layers on top or on the bottom anyway, they wiped up pretty, pretty well. And then I just went back in with some more of that turquoise and blended it out and then I was happy with the way these circles looked. So yeah, I think it's turning out pretty cool. I actually really like this page. I hope you guys are enjoying how this is turning out. I do dry my layers in between with a heat tool. I tend to cut that out, but you'll see every now and then my heat tool come just to remind you that I am drying in between layers. And I used my Stabilo Marksall pencil to kind of add some um, shading and texture around those circles just to set them apart a little bit from that background and I really like the way that looks and so then I'm going to activate that because it is a water-based um, utensil or water-based pencil um, I activate that with a little bit of water in my paintbrush and try to just give it a little bit shading so now I come in with some words that I picked out from the Tim Holtz small talk sticker sheet uh, I chose live in the moment and do more than exist and be brave with your life. I felt that these three 
um, sets of words really answered the challenge of the show us your media this week or this month and um, I just love adding these little stickers words to my pages and I thought it looked really cool kind of offset on my circle so I just stuck them down and I'm gonna use some multi matte medium to make sure that they don't lift off my page and that they're secured and will stay on there um, I definitely love what these words represent um, they kind of fit with kind of what my journaling was and then um, just adds a little bit of text to my page so I came back with that Posca white pen I love well I do love it it was really fun I just think it's really cool it's better than any paint marker that I've used so far so I wanted to add some of my stars that I like to put on my pages and I just kind of scribble some scribble a little bit of circle on and then just flick it up and down and to the left and the right and that creates those little star marks that I like to add and then I'm going to come in again with that Stabilo Marks All pencil and I'm going to add some shading underneath um, the letter stickers just to give it a little bit of dimension and depth and kind of really secure it down um, just kind of embed it into my page more so I uh, activate it uh, with my water brush and bring out that shading and I like that it's only on one side because it kind of like makes it look like it's popping off of the page um, so I really like the way that that looks just adding it on the right hand side in the bottom a lot of times I'll go around the entire thing but this was just something I thought would be different so that pretty much wraps up my page. I'm just gonna sign it and date it. And I really, um, I'm sorry that this video is so late today. I really love these mixed media videos. I'm trying to get into some sort of ahead of schedule so that I can get these out on a more consistent time. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys will check out the Show Us Your Media Challenge and join in. You, there is the potential to earn a really awesome Dina Wakely prize pack. So there's always that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and continuing to like and share these videos. Um, seeing that and seeing your comments encourages me and inspires me to continue making more content. Uh, be sure to like this video by giving it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like it. Every Monday, I'll be back with a mixed media video for you. And I do hope you like the variety that you get on my channel. There's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and um, a little bit of something for everybody. You can find me on social media as Inky Fairy Designs pretty much anywhere. And be sure to check out my Facebook group in the description box below. I created that group just for you guys because I want to see what you guys are creating. That's it for me today. I'll be back on Wednesday for another Watercolor Wednesday video. Until then, do something creative today. Bye.